Boogie. Boogie. Let's talk about Boogie. You guys know Boogie. He allegedly lied about cancer. When, when he was confronted about it, he kept on lying. But now he admittedly, he has, but now allegedly, he has admitted that he lied. Wild, wild. Because he was using this cancer diagnosis as a option as a way to get more money as a way to beg more to you know to curry sympathy from people and shit like this guy's a real piece of shit boogie is a real piece of shit locale i'll make it as short and sweet as i can uh i have several doctors we uh took my blood test we found elevated red blood cell counts and then we looked for other markers we found those markers they determined that it was certainly polycythemia, potentially polycythemia vera. Um, and they were going That's to treat me as if it was polycythemia vera. And uh, that's what we've done for the last two years with the plan to always eventually get this bone marrow test. But again, I never wanted to get it done because it's stupid. It's painful. Uh, my friend Marie, I was talking to her about it last night. She said she had it done. She literally asked me not to ever get it done. She's fighting cancer herself. And uh, she's, she says it's not worth it. And uh, as time went on, I became aware that it might not be. And now we are at a point where he's... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he admitting? Is he admitting he doesn't have cancer now? because he's realized the severity or how painful it might be to get this bone marrow test done. Is that why he's not taking the test? Is that why he's admitting it? Because he's afraid or scared about how much the bone marrow test might hurt. Honestly, locales are incredible, man. This lie is just like, I don't, I don't get the cancer lie because as much as I, li as much as I hate Boogie, as much as I hate Boogie, right? He's a professional victim. He loves feeling, he loves coming across helpless. He wants people to feel sorry for him so he can give him money. We, we know that. Just keep doing that. You don't need to up the stakes. People know you're always in need of something. People know you're useless. You refuse to get a real job. You're going to keep begging and panhandling for money online all the time. We know it. We get it. Why raise the stakes? Just keep acting like you need help all the time. It's okay. You have to lie about cancer. Like, why did he go that far? That's the thing I don't understand. Like, it's not like the cancer thing increased the amount of money he gets now. It's what, it probably would be the same anyway. It's like, it's such a, oh, big up, uh, big up Uche. There's no bone marrow test for uh, poly, polycythemia. Oh, sorry, polycythemia. Polycythemia vera. That's necessary. You can just confirm it with the blood work. <laughs> Besides the treatment for polycythemia vera, it's literally to treat him. <laughs> he just keeps lying. He just keeps lying then. Honestly, this is what he does. Honestly, man. Big up Uche, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the knowledge. Oh my god, Boogie, man, the lies, man. Come on. Ay, yay, yay. He's concerned about what's causing the markers. So we have a colonoscopy planned. And we probably, if we don't find anything there, we're going to move on to the bone marrow thing, unless there's something else that he wants to do. And we're just going to keep trying to bullseye. What Can you, by the way, um, uh, is there a, by the way, Uche, is there a test that you can do? Is, is there a cancer that would require you to get a bone marrow test anyway, in general? Is there one that requires that? And also, I assume this is true. Does it exist people that have some sort of condition where they just keep going to the doctor's trying to get tests for stuff they don't have. Is that a thing? Like where they just always, and can they permit, I guess in America, if you can pay for the test, they don't give a fuck, right? You can just keep getting tested for things that, and to see if you have it or not. Whatever is going wrong. But I mean. But you I, could I, still I, have the disease that's not cancer, right? 
Yes, I certainly have at least that. That is a symptom. Polycythemia secondary is basically a symptom. And something has to be causing it. Big up, all righty. Um, okay, no, I thought hypercon... No, I don't think hypercontract's the one. I'm talking more about the testing. But I guess it might be under that umbrella, isn't it? I don't talk about, I'm not talking about hypochondriac, as if like you're, you feel like, no. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is hypochondriac. Because I'm thinking about tests. Like people are just obsessed with getting blood work done, blood work done, blood work done. Uh, big up Uche. Yeah, if you have chronic um, leukemia or bone sarcoma, you gotta, you got to do a bone marrow uh, biopsy. It's a, it's, a, it's a proper, proper serious thing to, to lie about though, isn't it? So many people have died. So many, everyone knows somebody in their family or friends have died from cancer. It's a serious thing, bro. It absolutely destroys people, destroys families, relationships. Like, God almighty, bro. Ba like, lying about that for donations on the stream, on YouTube. That's some, that, that is, that is, uh, that's something, bro. That is something. The things that can cause it are things like uh, lack of oxygen or being extremely dehydrated when that's they take not, the blood. That's not how I understand it. I understand it that one is cancer and one isn't cancer. What you just said is if you have the one that's not cancer, it means you have cancer somewhere else. Well, polycythemia secondary is a symptom, right? Polycythemia vera is a diagnosis, um, is a cancer. And so, at the very least, I have the symptom of polycythemia, what? and something is causing it, and it is possible that it is the cancer. And it is possible that you don't have cancer. Exactly. Right. It could be something else. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Maybe my CPAP machine is not working, uh, hasn't been working in the last two years. Do you remember in the first Locale podcast when he came back, didn't he say that he's, didn't he say, didn't, didn't he say, didn't he say that his doctor could be one in clout? That's why they... <laughs> he said possibly his doctor is like a clout chase or something. Is that what? It, but it, that we've tried to roll all of that out. That's why we did the sleep study that you see in the documentary. Turns out I'm sleeping fine. Do you, uh, could be. Do you understand the gravity of how bad this is? Yes, absolutely. In fact, right now, and I have it queued up, ready to go, regardless of whether or not you kick me off of the show, I'm donating $1,000, uh, basically, to St. Jude's. I'm pulling that trigger right now. Here's another thing. We don't... Imagine being, honestly, his priorities are in the wrong place. He's worried about being fired. From the, to be fair, he shouldn't be fired from the Locale podcast. The Locale live podcast is a shit show. These guys are Locales. Locales are going to do what Locales are going to do. We shouldn't be too surprised that Locale was stooped to this level. They're all pieces of shit. Dark side feel, boogie, wings. They're all diabolical human beings who probably, in a fair and just world, they wouldn't be making the money they're doing or doing the things that they're doing. In a just world, if things are fair, but the world isn't fair. What does wings say? Life ain't fair and the world is cruel, right? We know that to be the case. But wow. Wow, bro. Wow. thing uh, I made Boogie do is I made him mail me the play button. All right? So his... One million sub play button is being sent to my house, and what? Honestly, Keemstar is a bit of a neek, isn't it? Why is Keemstar making him send him his one million? What? These guys are all low cows. They're all dorks. Like, what the fuck is this about? Why is he sending? Is that your punishment? The things he does for Keemstar is bizarre. The groveling on the floor. Now you're sending him your what? I don't know exactly the plan, but the initial thought in my head is that we'd auction it off. Whatever yeah. money we get for it goes to and some type of cancer research. Cause <laughs> this is so ridiculous, man. Either you fire him or you keep him on the show. This, all this shit is nonsense, man. All this performative virtue signaling shit is nonsense. He's a low cow. He's a piece of shit. He's going to do piece of shit stuff. Like, Squeeze it for as much as you can with the views. We're going to all squeeze it. We're going to make our clips. And just keep running it, man. It's all good. What is this, all this stuff, man? It's like, I, Well, I would like to ask that it's St. Jude's. And the reason I'd like to ask that it's St. Jude's is because they do two things that are very important. 
and I've raised money for St. Jude's many times before. What they do there is they treat children with cancer for entirely free. So if you have cancer and you appeal to St. Jude's, they will most likely treat your child's cancer for free. They'll also board the family so that they can be near the child. It's out of Memphis, Tennessee. It's a wonderful charity. It's also a research hospital. So what they do is they try to beat cancer. They are the people looking for the cure uh, for all different types of cancer. So when you give money to St. Jude's, you're doing two. Fuck off, man. Don't lecture us, you cunt. Don't lecture us, you absolute cunt. Who do you think you're talking to? You fucking cunt. You lied about having cancer for pity bucks, for sympathy bucks. And now you're here trying to educate us and lecture us. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Two things. Number one, you're saving a child's life. And number two. How about us not? I can't say that. I can't, I can't say that on you. You are helping beat cancer. So I'd like to request uh, that. People too. are really, really mad about the 1K. How do you justify yeah. the 1K? <laughs> I love the low cow life chat. I love the low cow life chat. Fuck him and his 1K. Fuck him and his 1K. I love the low cow life chat. They're the best. Because <laughs> that's what I have left. I, I don't know what else I should give. I can't give away. Money but you told you told Coffee that you had no money left, I, and uh, and now there's a thousand dollars. Well, well, I got paid by you, and no, I showed him receipts for three thousand. There was two thousand left, but now there's I spent more uh, of that. Okay, so, so now that we're on this honesty tour, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna drop this uh, on the lol cal Twitter right now. All right, just so you, just so you see it in the DMs. Yeah, in the group chat. I don't know. I don't know either. I, like I said, I, I, I'm trying to figure out what other ways to bend over backwards. If there's things I can sell. Bend over backwards. What an irredeemable piece of shit, man. Honestly. Um, I'd like to maybe consider. I, I, wanted, I considered live streaming. What about, what about what we're all thinking? Have you, have you considered that? What about, we're all, what about what we're all thinking? What about that? Huh? What about that? Have you ever considered that? You'd be doing the world a favor, honestly. I swear to God. You know, for the next month, every live stream I do and try to do three a week and just raise money for St. Jude's, but I don't think people would trust me enough to give. He wants to redeem himself by streaming and then having you give him money to give the... Ch like, honestly, this guy, this guy, wow, man. I love Locals with this. Like, this lack of self-awareness is just... Olympic level. It's just wow. 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 This is the solution that comes to your brain. Wow. And I don't blame them. No. So, you shouldn't be asking the public for money for exactly, anything, even for exactly. charity. What do you mean exactly? You just said it. That's why I told exactly. you to mail me the play button. Exactly. Do you understand how that, conflicted I am? Did you 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 were obviously watching the stream. I told I you to watch the stream. Yes. I'm pretty fucking conflicted. Because I, I and that's why I was able to figure it out right away. Because I know you, I know you. Yeah. You exactly, King Bayo. No, you're not wrong. We're we're in the same way of thinking. We're in the same way of thinking. Is it wrong to say that Boogie was really sorry? If he was really sorry, he would get off the internet and find a way to end. Dot dot dot. Exactly. Or as Young Old Vibe says, get a job. But he doesn't. He's still gonna be here panhandling, which is fine. Because his whales like him, his fans like him, they're going to, you know, fair play. Let, let them do it. Fair. Whatever. But this, this whole, like, I, I don't know. Let's let play. Get into the fucking mental illness panic mode, and you do and say anything you possibly fucking can. Yeah. You know what, Cloud K20? Brilliant point. Brilliant point, Cloud K20. Brilliant point. If he wasn't a 700-pound streamer, He'd be ripping people off some other way. That's it. He's just a scumbag at his core. He's just a piece of shit at his core. Doesn't matter what, what platform, what medium. Very, very true. Very, very true. I mean, you're not wrong. But I don't um, understand the recording the video 
editing the video and uploading the video. I don't under, there's a lot of steps in between your panic and your mental illness. Till well, that I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, it's about two hours be, between like I finished that doctor's appointment and it was on the phone and I sat and thought about it for a little while and I researched the disease and I thought this is something I could talk about. And if I'm being genuine, sure, part of it was uh, talking about the disease and talking about my life as I always have. But part of it is the thing that I've done even on the show. I've tried to stop doing it. But it's, it's sympathy farming. It's something you've called me out on a million fucking times. And I felt really shitty about myself. I had no one to talk to it about. And I decided to go to the internet with it instead. A lot of people... I, um... A lot of people are calling out your brother. Can you explain what happened with your brother? Because he was defending you, saying you had it. Exactly. Because he's seen the paper. Exactly. The brother lied. For work, and he knows they're treating it, and he knows that the, like he said, the codes are in there because they've said the reason they are treating this to the insurance company is because I possibly have polycythemia vera. So it's, it's in there. But what about what about okay so you're telling your brother you have cancer you're telling the internet you have cancer you're telling your girlfriend you have cancer you're telling everyone that you have cancer but it may not be how do you justify that because i mean there is no justification i, I can tell you what i was thinking at the time there is no justification it's uh, like what I was, it's like what i was thinking i what swear I was to god was, guys i i gotta i gotta tell me i i tweeted this all right because this is a real thing that happened uh yesterday or the day before i can't remember i'm on the phone with boogie and we're talking about future test and at one point boogie says and i swear to god this happened he goes i can't believe i'm praying i might have cancer yeah <laughs> what the imagine what level of a victim you gotta be Imagine at what level of a victim you have to be to pray you have cancer. Imagine. Imagine what type of scammer you have to be. What deplorable human you have to be. Why do you want to be a fucking victim so bad? Like, that is so fucking insane. The fucking, like, that fucking, came out of your we, mouth. Because when we get these tests done, I deserve to have it up my ass. I deserve to have it in my fucking brain. I deserve to have fucking cancer the way my dad did, the way Danny did, the way my friend Marie, like everybody, everybody that's ever died of cancer, lost a loved one of cancer. I fucking deserve cancer. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I fucked up here. I should not have jumped the gun. And uh, what a in, in my mind, what a treating me for this cancer, knowing that it's what a possibly, if, if not what most a likely there, is the same as it testing positive you know and that's what my i have a, an appointment with my doctor on august 16th and we're going to talk about it then but i presume it doesn't matter uh, you don't have it so many times it doesn't like, matter about your appointments you don't have it right now you don't you didn't have it then you don't have it now it doesn't matter about appointments you're doing and what test you don't have it fucking hell he's lying all into like honestly you know you most likely have this cancer you most likely have this cancer so i do most wanna likely add that when I launched that video, I turned monetization off and it's always been off. Like Mudohar pointed out, I did earn $120, but you can't turn off people who use YouTube premium. So I still got $120. Uh, but that's atypical of a video that gets 100,000 views, right? Uh, 100,000 views normally would get you $1,000 for a lot of people. And obviously I didn't get that. <laughs> Surprise, but not surprise. Surprise, but not surprise. Don't get me wrong. It's probably a good thing that he's super irrelevant. Like, he's not, you know, in the current scheme of, like, in the current landscape of, like, YouTube creators, even though he's, like, been around for a while and he's what you deem to be, like, a, le a legend. I don't know if he's a legend. He's, like, an old-school YouTuber. I would say he's a legend. But I think that's going to help him. If he was more famous, if he was more current, more well, you know, especially in nowadays, like, yeah, you know I mean, this this could be bad, bad, but he's got friends. I mean, so he's he's got he's got he's got his fans who are gonna you know help him out still. Oh yeah, yo, but yeah, whatever, man, whatever, whatever. What can you do? We all knew he was lying anyway, so it's confirmation that he was lying. But we all probably knew he was lying. 